So, I'm going to be attempting to wake up at 3.35am. Let's see how this goes. Recently, I've been taking a different approach to self-improvement and building habits in general, and that is to treat things as an experiment or challenge. I first came across this approach by creators such as Nathaniel Drew and Matt Diavella, as well as this blog post by someone called David Kane, who'd done 21 self-improvement experiments over seven years. And it looked like a more approachable way to building habits and generally an approach to living a better life that I really liked the look of. So I definitely thought I'd give these types of experiments a go. So far I've done a few and I'm definitely happy that I did. So I'm going to attempt to wake up early, but considerably early at 3.30 am, just like Richard Yu, I think that's how you say his last name. I've tried waking up early before around like the 5, 6 am mark and I know I found it difficult because I find it difficult to end the day early. So meaning like to start the next day, I have to, well, it will start later. For it to be natural for me, I, like, I feel like the day ends more around like 12 midnight, but I just wanna see what I can get out of doing this. Will it increase my productivity? How will I react to it? And yeah, I just really wanna see the results that come from doing this challenge. Also in a recent video of Richard's, he shared five tips for waking up early. So I'm gonna be incorporating some of them as well. By attempting to wake up this early, I want to see the impact it has for my productivity and how much I can get done compared to a normal day for me. I'll be setting an alarm 30 minutes before I need to go to bed and we'll still be aiming to get seven to eight hours of sleep. Basically, just get up. You can either use the embrace the suck method or the slow up method. The embrace the suck method is when you wake up earlier at a time that you set for yourself and embrace that you'll be tired, but you don't take a nap. And by the end of the day, you'll be very tired and you'll be able to fall asleep and wake up early the next day. Or you can use the slow method, which is when you move your wake up and sleep time 30 minutes earlier every two days. I'll be using the embrace the suck method. So tomorrow I'll be waking up 3.35 a.m. See you then. Yeah. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside a ghost and hop up in a fan, no. Oh, I know I'm about to blow, oh, oh, I ain't done. They try to take my floor, I take their ass for ransom. I know that I'm gone. They see me blowing up, now they say they want some. I got two twin glass, turn you to a dancer. I see two twin eyes, leave them on a the band. Oh, I got white, what you want? Just gone. 5 a.m. We are doing the waking up at 3:35 challenge. Feeling pretty good. Not actually feeling that tired, which I'm actually quite surprised at because I thought I'd be really tired when I wake up. Because I knew that I would take a while to get to sleep, but actually I got to sleep really quickly. Then, like, because my body wasn't used to going to sleep early, I just ended up spending quite a bit of time just not sleeping. But yeah, feel quite awake. But I feel like it might hit me later in the day. Not quite sure, but I'm quite ready to just get in flow with the motions of things, done my morning routine thing, done my meditating and journaling for another challenge that you'll see a video on soon but I'm doing that for February slash March, I started at the end of March, end of February and we'll finish somewhere in March and yeah just about to get on with some work on my content and brand, I think I'll do a bit of writing and a bit of editing, yeah there you go. I've just been editing the video you're watching right now, um, the beginning bit and then I'm gonna just crack on with some economics and work and get some breakfast. I need to pop to the shop to get some stuff. I had to wait before it opened for I can go get it because it doesn't open at 7 30. Um, I have to, and I need to get some milk before I can make my breakfast. Nothing you can really do about that. I guess that is kind of a downfall of waking up early that waking up that early that nothing is really open yet. So maybe, yes, there is less distractions, but it's somewhat not practical in a sense. It's like if you're waking up that early, you're gonna wanna eat earlier. But I just like and I have to just have to wait a bit. Which is not that too big of a deal, but if you're doing it every day and you need to go to the shop every day or something like that, then it will become pain for you. now is 10.41, um, I had class, just finishing up some notes now, some classes, feeling good, nothing really much to say about the effects of waking up early, feeling just pretty much the same now, so yeah, so yeah, just get on with the day. Now, 
even though I just said, maybe about an hour ago, that I was feeling good. Well, no, I'm much more tired. So yeah, great, isn't it? But yeah, I, it wasn't inevitable to happen. It was like it was just going to kick in after because of like the amount of hours of sleep compared to normal because of the time that I went to sleep was earlier than normal. I have a class at 5 p.m. and it's now 11:37. Hopefully, I can push for it. But yeah, I might have to have another coffee. I'm just heading to my 5 p.m. class and I actually don't feel tired at all. And yeah, ready to do this thing. Yeah, let's go. So this is the end of attempting Richard Yu's 3.35 a.m. Wake up time, morning routine, whatever you want to call it. Just made some food, ate, and now I'm going off to basketball. Definitely been an interesting experience. I've come to the conclusion of thinking about it throughout the day is that compared to when I usually go to bed, so maybe between 10 and midnight, more like midnight, that I prefer actually doing that compared to actually after having to go to bed around 7, 8 to wake up that early, just not for Richard personally, not for me. My work for some people works for Richard, that's absolutely cool, but it just doesn't work for me. I'm not going to be continuing doing this. And I find this really because I like to just get stuff done in the evening. I just, I don't like finishing the day so early. It just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel right for me. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, people, if people like to finish their day early, go for it. But I just, for me, it just feels more natural to finish between 10 and midnight. I realised that I did get quite a lot done in the morning, so maybe I'll try wake up a bit early and go to bed a bit earlier, so maybe around the 6am mark. I might test that again, but I just, I find wake up around 7, 7.30 is more natural for me. And yeah, I just, that, that's the conclusions that I've come to and what I've learned over by doing this experiment. Thanks for watching, thumbs up, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Also, um, check out my Instagram and um, my weekly email newsletter, the links will be in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon.